Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Daniela, Miss Four Lizard, the planning crafty diva. And it's been a minute since I filmed. Super busy week. Work has been insane, but I am loving every minute of it and every late night. And um, I just kind of had to step away from filming for a bit, um, mostly because I was super busy last weekend and weekends are usually when I film. So if I don't film on a weekend, then I don't really have time to film during the weekdays unless I don't have that much work, which has not been the case in a long time. Anyways, this is gonna be a quiet weekend for me. The weekend before Halloween, I got all of my activity out last weekend and I'm feeling just like staying home and being cozy. And last weekend I was super, super busy. So I didn't get um, the chance to do a lot of my regular chores. So this weekend I'm going to be really busy getting a lot of those chores in and done. And I'm just glad to have a free weekend that I can just clean up around my house, tidy my home up and make it beautiful. So as always, I have my home life planner here and I am going to be reaching for one of my long ass daily sheets. Um, these are quickly becoming one of my favorite videos to film and I find them really, really helpful. And I just really like all the daily pages that I've come up with so far. So these are just a, just a quick flip through of all my daily pages. I think this is the last one that I did with you all. And um, I pulled out a, a one, another one of my farmhouse um, Disney Mickey uh, big daily sheets. I actually had run out of these in my home life planner and I had to go in and into my um, big filler paper uh, binder and pull one of these out because I just need like a really long to-do list and I have a couple of other um, daily sheets. This one is from the Cozy Critters but these like the to-do list is pretty short and I guess I could use the notes section but I just like having like, the long to-do list. I also have, um, I have a couple of these and I have uh, these painterly pastels um, daily checklists which the to-do list is pretty long on this one but I didn't want to use the priorities um, section. I think that's all I have. Oh no, I do have some of these um, Princess Elegance daily sheets and also some Disney Indigo daily sheets. Um, so yeah, I need to get into those. But I was just really, really feeling like using my Disney Farmhouse daily sheet. So that's what we're going to go with today. Let me pop this in. And because um, it is the last weekend in October and we are starting to feel the temperatures drop even here in Southern California in San Diego, um, I decided to go with another fall spread because I'm still feeling all my fall feels. I even switched up my like scrapbook paper background here to be very fall. And so I hope you're loving the, um, the background there, but I think we're gonna go with this new Mickey and Minnie seasonal big sticker book. This was from their latest release and I'm potentially thinking of using um, some of these like more Halloween stickers. I think that would be really fun and this page is so big that you know it, it can handle these huge stickers pretty easily. But before I lay down any stickers, I kind of want to use some scrapbook paper. I'm going to be grabbing my big um, scrapbook envelope where I keep a lot of my like seasonal stuff. Um, let's see. I'm thinking of potentially... Hmm, maybe I'll use these. I love these pumpkin stickers from Hobby Lobby. I think I'm using... I'm going to use those. And then I think I might use this piece of scrapbook paper. Way. and let's see how we want to set this up I kind of don't want to put it all over the place maybe like a corner piece yeah I think a corner piece will do so uh, I'll just cut maybe like, like maybe like that much and then I will tape that down with my adhesive, my Tombow adhesive, my trusty Tombow adhesive. And wait, before I do that, I think I'm gonna 
do the little tear. I love these little tears. I just love the look of distressed paper. It's very vintage. Um, so something like that. I don't want to cover the out, so I'm going to tear just a little bit more here. Perfect. And then I can tape that down. Do you hear that noise in the background? That is my new pug, Daisy, being a little rascal. And she's just trying to, like, get under my desk and mess around with all the stuff that's under my desk. So I'm going to get her in a second if she keeps on making all that noise. And check out my little, um... Cafecito mug. Isn't this so cute? I found this in a thrift store here. It's like a traditional um, clay Mexican mug and these are super super cute. I actually kind of collect these um, Well kind of because I have like six or seven of them and I feel like at this point I'm pretty saturated But I like to use them for like my pens and like my crafty supplies and I have a couple of different ones I have another one right here. Very very cute. They're just uh, I just love the designs and like the feel of a clay mug in my hand. I just love it Okay, let's grab a sticker. Just say boo. I really want to use this just say boo sticker. Should I put this down here? I feel like it'd look good like right here. Yeah, let's put it right here. Just say boo. And then maybe Mickey with some pumpkins behind him. Let's grab a few pumpkins here. I think this decoration wise, this daily sheet is gonna be pretty, pretty simple um, because I just kinda wanna do a quick daily sheet and then get to, get to you know, completing all the items on my daily sheet. Um, I just feel like the today is gonna go by so quickly and um, I just wanna make sure that um, I have enough time, as much time as possible, to get so much done. I kind of, oops, I feel like I should have put this smaller pumpkin, um, oh, is this gonna want to come up? I don't know, this is gonna want to come up. <gasps> Let's see if it, okay, it's peeling up. Let's put this maybe like, maybe like right here. Oops, that's a little crooked, oh well. Does that look weird? I think it looks kind of weird. I don't know. I don't know if I like that. Oh my goodness. I'm usually not too fussy about stickers, but sometimes I just gotta like rearrange. I gotta rearrange what's going on. Um, maybe what I need to do is like grab, um, oops, grab another pumpkin and then maybe put it here and then maybe... Maybe I should put them on top of the pumpkins. Do you think that's weird? I feel like the vine peeking through this clear sticker um, kind of makes it look weird. So, oh, I just dropped it randomly. What about, what if he's on top of the pumpkin here? Like so. Okay, that's not too bad. Not too bad, I can live with it. And let's see, I feel like I kind of want to do something here. Um, I'm not sure whether I want it to be decorative, maybe a box. Uh, I always, I always like, like boxes. Um, they're like good spaces to write down, you know, just brain dump. So let me find a brown box. I think um, in my Essential Seasons book, they have some pretty nice uh, double boxes. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Am I right? Oh, those stickers are super cute. Um, okay, here's one. Fall notes. Um, I think that's too big. Let's see. Oh, it might be too big. Ack. Maybe if I peel at Mickey once again. <laughs> Poor Mickey is just getting moved all over the place um, for this plan with me. I think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna work, so. Why, why don't I pop this down here, pop down Mickey, like so, and then I have my box there, perfect, and I don't want to use up any of the space here because you know me, I love using um, my entire to-do list on weekends, so we're going to try to keep away from putting stickers in that area, 
but I will pop down some of these leaf stickers here and there. These are really, really pretty. I've gone through, I think, three sheets of these huge, um, like, pumpkin, watercolor pumpkin stickers from Hobby Lobby. Uh, highly recommend. They're just gorgeous. They're high quality. They're beautiful. Um, they're everything. I've just noticed that all of the fall stickers in here are clear stickers and um i was hoping they would have like a bit of a mix uh, i think yeah they have clear and paper stickers for every single um season in here except for fall they have just clear stickers for fall i wish they had popped in like some paper stickers because i would have popped a paper sticker up here but i think the clear it's just gonna be lost with how busy this background is so we're just not even going to, to try um let's grab another leaf right there and then maybe one last one just on top of mickey here Let's do this, and then we're gonna get into our list. Okay, maybe an acorn. Cannot resist a good acorn, so maybe like right here. Very cute, love it. So that little box is going to be just where I'm going to write down um, any notes that come up. I can also add any additional to-dos in this section. Sometimes I'll fill up this entire section and then halfway through the day I'll remember, oh, I need to do that. And then I want to write it down somewhere because otherwise I'll forget. And so, and then this list is completely full. So I like using this little like space over here to write like my last additional to-dos. And so far I think it's super, super cute, very fall, very fun and I'm excited for this to-do list. So let's do rapid fire to-dos. I have so much to do um, today and let's see how much I get done. Um, and these weekend to-dos, like these huge to-do lists are usually um, for the weekend. Like I get half of them done Saturday and then the other half Sunday. So um, these are usually like yeah, not just for one day. And let me just write the date up here. I think it's October the 28th. No, it's October the 29th. So I'm gonna write October 29th through 30. Okay, and I just woke up, so I have done nothing except make my coffee and set up filming. So I think what I'm gonna do is start off with, um, my filming schedule because i tend to film saturday mornings and then um once that's done like i can you know put away all the filming equipment rearrange my furniture back to how it normally is because while i'm filming i film in my room because that's where all my crafting stuff is and it's also where i get the most privacy um, i'm filming in my room and my room is pretty small and so I don't have my film my filming set up like set up unless I'm actively filming otherwise like my room is just like I'm not using the space nicely enough so that is all to say that I like to film Saturday mornings and then as soon as I'm done I put it all away and I can put my room back into order wait before I get into that though I have to walk my dogs um, I like to write that down because sometimes I'll like try to procrastinate or get out of it and if I write it down it kind of forces me to do it because there's something about seeing it on a to-do list that in my mind it just wants to check it off. So I gotta welcome my dogs, I'll probably do that after this video, come back, film for maybe three, four hours and then try to get some chores done. So film, I need to film uh, my daily weekend plan with me and I'm actually doing this right now so once it's done I can check it off and then I'm going to film the twin loop video that is going to be a fun um, video for you all. I am basically, <laughs> I basically gave up my twin loop and moved into a different system and this video is going to explain a little bit about my thought process behind that. So film my twin loop video. I also want to film my October flip through video and then I also want to film my November um, home life um, set up home life plus 
work um, set up. I also want to film a big um, home life plan with me and I also want to film, um, let's see, my fitness um, plan with me and I also want to edit my project management video that I filmed last week and I still haven't gotten around to so that's gonna be um enough for YouTube oh you know what um edit and publish the daily that's something I always like to do on the weekend so daily plan with me so that's gonna hopefully go up today okay now that's enough for youtube okay now that youtube is all done we can move to household chores and everything else i need to get done i like going room by room in my house it's kind of help me organize my thoughts so as always i'm gonna start off with my bedroom and bedroom desperately needs uh, a vacuum vacuum room Okay, my pugs just ran into my room. They're playing with each other and making a lot of noise. So hopefully it's not too distracting, but the mirrors in my room need a good polish. The wood furniture needs a good polish. Oh my goodness. Um, usually I try to do this like once a week, but I haven't been able to do it recently. So the wood furniture needs to be polished. My um, writing desk needs to be like the drawers need to be organized they're a bit of a mess right now so i gotta do that and then the cichlid tank needs um an h2o top up i have a cichlid tank in my bedroom and yeah it just needs i need to add a little bit of water to it bathroom moving on to bathroom i need to clean bathroom sink and then I'm also I need to clean the bathroom um, tub. I should have just put tub. Um, and then I need to scrub the toilet. And then kitchen. Okay, dude, I need to do a fridge clean out just to make sure you know my fridge is everything in there. I know what's in there, and everything that's in there is good. <laughs> fridge clean out. Oh, I need to reorganize the pantry. Um, right now it's a bit of a mess, so I gotta do that. Pantry reorganize. Um, what else? I need to clean my lunchbox that I take to work. And then also, now that we're in the kitchen, I need to uh, meal prep um, potato salad. Potato salad. And then also, what else do I need to do here? kind of related to kitchen i need to grocery shop and um before i need to do that i need a meal prep meal prep for a week um this week is going to be a little bit different because actually my sister and her wife are coming to visit they're coming on the first and spending a week with us and so of course when family's visiting meal prepping and cooking is always a little bit different so I'm probably only gonna meal prep for, you know, maybe um, the days that I know I'm going into work and um, I'm gonna bring my lunch. So meal prep for a week, grocery shop. Um, oh, meal prep. I'm gonna do a chicken um, eggplant dish. It's like an Italian dish, meal prep chicken eggplant dish. I think that's what I'm gonna be eating for my lunches when I am commuting this coming week. So meal prep chicken eggplant dish. I think that's all for kitchen. Moving on to garage, um, a tidy garage. And then, oh, um, put away laundry. I actually already did laundry on Thursday, so I don't need to do it again. But I do have a load in the dryer that's been sitting there for like a day and I need to put away the laundry, tidy garage um, shelves. I have some shelves in the garage that always get kind of messy. Tidy garage shelves, put away laundry. I think that's all for the garage. And then moving on to, let's see, is there anything else that I need to do? Oh, for the dogs. Um, wash 
bugs and daisies so they need a bath they desperately need a bath and so i need to wash both of them and i need to wash their leashes and harnesses because they're getting kind of dirty they just need a good wash so wash the leashes and the harnesses okay i'm back um my pugs they are being just crazy and my one-year-old daisy she's just always bothering my eight-year-old pug she just wants to play with him and bother him and my eight-year-old pug is not having it <laughs> anyways i need to wash their pet bowls they always get kind of grimy by the end of the week so i gotta wash them and then um, I need to fill their, um, their, like, uh, like their, what, what's that, what's it called, like that, when it has, like, a little, like, um, tank, like, when the bowl has, like, a little tank of water on it, I forget what they're called, they're, like, the automatically refilling pet bowls that has, that have the little, like, water tank on it, and, um, yeah, I don't even know what they're called, but I need to fill their little water tank, and then, oh, I need to top up the community fresh water tank in the living room um community fresh water tank and then oh in the garage before i forget i need to clear out my gym bag um because yeah i have like a bunch of stuff in there right now clear out gym bag top up community fresh water tank this is all kind of like pets living room um garage Let's see, I think that's all in the garage. I mean, I think that's all for that, those sections though. I have a lot of things to do for the dogs today. And then, um, let's see, backyard. I always have so many things to do in the backyard. I need to toss the pumpkins. So we carved pumpkins last weekend and the quickly like within two or three days they quickly um started growing mold it's so sad i wish it would last longer but uh, yeah they're, they're just all sad right now um in the backyard and i just need to toss them and just you know let go of them gotta toss the pumpkins and i've already reached the end of this to-do list which is insane to me i might have to just like go to the back right now and continue to write <laughs> to do to do's i guess i could use this little fall notes section i only have a few left so maybe i can get away with it okay let's try to get away with it um let me grab a little clean colored dot marker and write some more to do's there okay i think that might be enough <laughs> but if i ended up having to spill over then I'll have to spill over to the back or something. Okay, so sweep backyard. Um, that's something that needs to happen. Sweep backyard. And then uh, I need to do a garden check-in. Um, I just need to do some maintenance out there. Garden check. -in. Oh, empty the compost. How could I forget to empty the compost? Right now it's so full. Um, I have a little compost bin in my kitchen that I need to go empty into the compost outside. And yeah, it's super full and gross right now. So I gotta do that empty compost. And then, oh, I need to do an oil check on my car. And I also need to fill air in tires in my car and then also i want to paint my nails um right now i have no polish on my nails which is so sad but yeah um but yeah you're seeing the real me right now um so i need to paint my nails and then let's see is there anything else i can't believe i have like space for one more thing and that's it i feel like i just kind of want to write something in there just to fill it up because otherwise it's just this random one spot that's missing oh yes i want to buy a lamp for my office so i think i'm gonna actually go get that soon because i want to go to the thrift store to get it um so buy a lamp and i think that's it do you think that's enough for me for the weekend these are always so fun to film and i always feel really motivated um, to complete them and it's always such a like a challenge to see how many items I can complete I've done a pretty good job um, you know from the last couple of really long to-do lists as you can see here 
I did a pretty good job on getting a lot done. These are really, really fun. And I just like how they turn out. So yeah, I'm really happy with this. It's super cute, very seasonal. It's, you know, getting me in those fall feels and the Halloween feels. And let's see how many items I get done. So thank you so much for spending some time with me here today. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Um, let me know how you're doing in the comments down below. I would love to know. And I hope to see you in my next video. So until then, stay safe, stay blessed, and happy planning. Bye.